Hello friends, so today is the Thursday after Ash Wednesday and the title for our devotion is The Son of David. Apparently the author of our devotion loved Matthew 1-1 so much he wanted to hit it two days in a row. So we're gonna do that too. If you wanna take your Bibles and open them up to Matthew 1-1, you can read along with me. Otherwise, read it here on the screen. Or if you're driving and cannot look at your phone, please do not look at your phone. Just listen along, okay? The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. I wonder if you will agree or disagree with this next sentence that I'm about to read from our author, Reed Lessing. He says, sometimes politicians make crazy promises. Yeah, sometimes. Here are three examples. One, in 2012, John Edwards said, we will stop diabetes, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. Oh, don't wish that were true. I sure do. In 2012, Newt Gingrich said, by 2020, we will put a colony on the moon. Have you heard anything about that? I haven't. In 2020, mm, there was a lot that happened in 2020, but that wasn't one of the things, right? Now, here's the third one. In 2012, Michelle Bachman said, I will pull American troops out of Libya and out of Africa. So these three crazy promises. Okay. Hmm. However... When we look at Jesus, we see a completely different kind of leader. He is David's son. He is the fulfillment of God's promise to save us. He is the Messiah or Christ. Christ is the Greek translation of the Hebrew word Messiah, which means anointed one. As David's son and God's Messiah, Jesus comes to teach preach, suffer, and die, all so that we may love and trust him all our days. What a wonderful king. Let's pray. Jesus, rule and reign over our lives. In your name alone we pray. Amen. Amen. Mm, Definitely a different kind of leader. I love you so much, my friends. And I will meet you right back here tomorrow. Bye.